frantically texting the Trump White House to rail against the insurrection as it happened on January 6th, just as Trump loyalists like Bill Barr told then President Trump, as well as investigators, that all of this crap that is the core of the Fox defamation suit had zero basis, none. The Dominion voting machines, which I found to be among the most uh, disturbing allegations, disturbing in the sense that I saw absolutely zero basis for the allegations. I told them that it was that it was uh, crazy stuff. You know, the votes in Dominion, they say, are counted in foreign countries. A full victory here with Rupert Murdoch testifying today could rattle Fox and other entities. It could redraw the lines. So, that's a lot in this special report. You might say, okay, Ari, if you lay that all out, isn't this a slam dunk case? No. Under the law, it is not enough to prove that Fox was incorrect, which they were. These cases can be hard because, to simplify it, many falsehoods and even some deliberate lies get First Amendment protection here in America. And then you have the fact that some of Fox defense could sound relatable. They insist covering a president's voter fraud allegations are newsworthy. But these lawyers who have Murdoch on the run today, they have an answer for that, too. They say the evidence meets a higher standard that's required of Fox's malice, that the effort was a knowing lie for improper, malicious political ends, and the Fox hosts were in on the con. From the hosts all the way to the people they worked with, the con artists like Giuliani, who wasn't credible at the time, is incredible afterward. He lost his ability to practice law over this. And by the way, it wasn't credible by Giuliani's own standard. In fact, when Rudy Giuliani was recently forced under oath in a related case, this video first reported by CNN, Giuliani admitted he did not even investigate his own outlandish and false claims as he pushed them. Sometimes I go and look myself online when stuff comes up. This time I didn't have the time to do it. It's not my job in a fast-moving case to go out and investigate every piece of evidence that's given to me. Otherwise, you're never going to write a story. You never come to a conclusion. False. And the former U.S. attorney for the Southern District of Manhattan knows that is false. As a lawyer, as well as a person with legal obligations in public speaking and using the airwaves, he exactly has that obligation. And it is part of the standard of defamation to have basically given up on any pretense or effort to find out what he was saying was true if he recklessly disregarded that. And it looks like he did with unhinged claims like these. Dominion and Smartmatic, the connection to Hugo 